So Google Messages is the stock messaging application within Android. So you might be trying to figure out how to use this application. Now luckily for you, it's a pretty basic process and I'll give you a quick breakdown. Now Google Messages, if you already aren't using it, can be downloaded from their Google Play Store. So if you go in the Google Play Store and you just type in Messages, you should be able to find it. Should be right here, Messages by Google. You can also install it and update it from the Play Store without having to update your Android version. Now coming through, the application looks like this. So when you go ahead and open it up for the first time, you'll basically come into this type of panel. So it should show you all the text that you have in this specific page. Now in this case, we only have one. You'll all see on the top left corner, these three lines. If you click on those, this basically gives you a little bit of a breakdown of some of you know, the different changes you can go and do. So you can filter them by starred, archived, spam, and blocked messages, and device pairing and choose theme if you want to change it to dark mode. Swiping back out, this middle option right here allows you to search through all of your conversations. So you can search through starred, messages, images, videos, so many other things right here. So if you want to, you can just search for different messages right here. And that's another option you have. Hopping back out, this last option right here with your little profile icon will actually allow you to go ahead and change and configure between different you know, Google message, you know, Google accounts. So if you want, you can add another Google account if you wanted to have a work profile or something like that. You can also go into message settings here and help in feedback. We'll go back into message settings in a second. And then for the rest of this, basically you'll just see all the messages. Now if you don't have any messages, which you can always do, is you can go and click start chat right down here in the bottom right corner, and you can go and start a chat with somebody. Now you probably have some contacts on your phone. So if you have a contact like mom or son or Sam, whoever you wanna go ahead and text, go ahead and type in their name, whatever their case is. You can also go ahead and just type in their phone number right here as well if you wanna click that icon. In this case, we'll just go and text some random number 000. In this case, we can go and click here and we'll jump straight into an app, you know, actual message. Now at the very top of these messages, if we go and hop back out real quick, you'll see that I already had a message here. It's basically the same you know, panel, it's just two different ways of looking at it. So at the top, you'll see that profile of that person you're texting. You can always click on their name like this. You can always call them, text them. You can Google Meet if you want to do them. You can Google Meet with them too. You can call them directly by clicking on that little icon. And these three dots right there allow you to go and configure this a little further. If you want to add them as a contact, if you want to see details of the contact, so you can search within the message, you can delete the message, you can so show subject field. You can also get help and feedback right there as well. Now, this is where all of your you know, messages and everything will be. So if you message them and they message you, you will be able to see all those messages right within here. Now you can see right here, I can go and click on that text message and I can go and start texting them as I normally would. So if I wanna text them hi, I can go and send that to them, go and click send right here. And I can go and send them a little hi message. So that's something that we have the ability of doing and you can text them back and forth and it's a pretty basic thing. By texting them back and forth, you can just see exactly what's going on and it's a pretty basic thing, just like any other messaging application. But if you take a closer look, you'll see a few different icons. So if I go and zoom in, at the left side, you'll see that we have a plus icon. This plus icon actually allows you to go ahead and basically add another thing if you want to. So you can add a photo, you can add a GIF or a GIF, you can add stickers, files, location, contacts, and schedule send. So you can actually schedule send a specific message if you want to, which is so cool. Now this second icon right here allows you to go ahead and basically send photos. So if you wanna send a photo to somebody, you can go ahead and basically click on the photos here to add, and you'll see them populate right here. You can also go ahead and click on that little photo icon right here to take a photo. So just like this, I can take a photo and I can go and attach that as a photo right here as well. And then what I can do is I can go and click X here. I can go and come back into that text right there. And I can go and send this off if I want to. So that's another option that you have right there, which is so awesome. Now, on top of that, on the right side, you can go and quickly jump between your standard keyboard and your emoji keyboard as well. So if you wanna send emojis, you can go and send emoji just like this, super easy. And then whenever you're ready, you can go and click send. And most of the time it's going to send, as you can see for me, it's not sending because I actually don't have a SIM card installed. But that's another option that you have right there as well. So from here, that's basically it. You can message back and forth. You can react to messages as well by holding down the messages on this side. But that's basically how to use this application. Now if we hop back out, there's one other thing to keep in mind, and that is with our message settings. So if we click on the top right corner right here, like I mentioned before, we have messages settings. So what we can do is we can click on message settings, and there are tons of different things you can change within this panel. 
So you can see right here, we have chat features. So if we go and click on chat features, we can go and enable RCS chat features, which is really cool. You can go and configure this whichever way you want to, and you can enable it if you have a SIM card. So you can see I do not have a SIM card. Under notifications, you can go ahead and enable and disable different notifications that you want within Google Messages. You don't really have to mess with this too often, but if you do want to, it's here for you. Hopping back out, you can convert bubbles if you want to change different settings or whatever, you can have it here too. A lot of this stuff though at the bottom, you really don't have to mess with it too much. If you are somebody who is a little bit more picky on your message settings, you can go ahead and change that up right here. So that's like another option that you have here as well, if you really want to. You can go and change those up. You can also change your voice message options, suggestions, spam protection. Even at the bottom, you have advanced settings. So you can always click on advanced settings and change up a few things here too. So those are pretty much the main ways of go ahead and using Google Messages. It's a super easy application. The big thing, like I said, I would recommend you to do is to update your application as often as you can because there are definitely updates that you should be installing and you don't even have to update your whole entire phone to do that. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.